We are coming into a new year, and while lots of us like to put together goals for the year, a lot of talk that's been happening over the last couple months is the talk of this upcoming and now imminent recession. So I'm not here to be all doom and gloom. What I really wanna do is provide some hope and hopefully just give you a little peace of mind as we continue to move into this year, how to deal with this, how to prepare for it, and how to hopefully get out of it, and how to hopefully get through it in the best possible way. So I have to admit, I'm not really looking forward to this because it isn't fun to have inflation rates go high, prices go up, people who are on edge, people are losing jobs, businesses are struggling, and it just affects us as a global community overall. But there are ways that you can help yourself reduce distress, get through it while still moving towards your goals. The first way is to really take this time to identify what actually adds value to you. Lean in towards activities and things in your life that you really appreciate and enjoy and start removing and cutting the excess. Having this awareness is gonna allow you to move forward without getting distracted or being tempted by certain things that are just gonna fill up and bog down your life and also promote more unnecessary expenses. Taking the time to also review the things that you pay for for on a regular monthly basis, setting a budget and eliminating what you can is gonna help immensely. Even though you might like things like that Hulu or Disney Plus subscription, or even excess things like cacao bars or fancy fruit snacks from the grocery store, this is a time to buckle down and say, it's okay to not have those things for now. I know I cut kombucha out of my grocery budget, and so that was like a painful thing, but it's okay because it's only temporary. You wanna stock up on your cash and savings because the the truth is a recession is like the best Black Friday sale or clearance sale that anybody could ever ask for. People can make really good money in a recession if you know how to invest wisely during this time when the stock market and even things like the cryptocurrency market are a bit low. Now, I'm not here to give any financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor, but I know a lot of you are like me and like looking into things to help improve your money, automate your money and invest your money. Now is the time to get really clear and focus on what's going on in the market so you could take advantage of this opportunity. Regardless of what the economy is doing, now is still a good time to plan your business and start moving towards that business. It might not be a good time to invest on say a lot of hefty products or invest in very specific consulting or strategizing, but you can take the time to make that product and make it accessible to the marketplace still. And the reason is just because business and people are struggling doesn't mean that the whole world comes to a complete halt. We're all still trying to function, the economy is still running, so you wanna make sure that you are still out there in the marketplace. This gets you ahead when we make our way out of the recession, and who knows, you might hit an actual niche that does exceptionally well in the recession, like Peloton did during COVID. It's time to get really creative about what you do with your time, where you go with your car, how much gas you spend. It's time to get really creative with what entertains you. That's something that we've done here in our home is try to think of ways that we can be entertained for little to no extra expense. Lately, we've been collecting rocks out of the yard and painting them with the kids. It's been a really fun activity to do. We've been leaning more into our family games. We have a lot of family games. We don't need to buy new ones. When we wanna get out to go someplace, we go play tennis at the local park or take the dogs out for a walk in a scenic place like the beach or the lake. These things require very little extra expense and instead of going out to eat, we pick something from our recipe book and take the time to make it together. It's really interesting how leaning into these kind of activities actually increases the amount of priorities that you want more of in your life. Like before we were just in a rush, so we would just like go to Chipotle or sit down and dine somewhere. But the idea of like pulling a recipe book out and browsing through them with the kids, then making it a thing and going to the grocery store and making it together actually increases that level of quality time. And then we're learning this new skill of cooking. We're saving money, we're eating better. There are so many benefits to leaning in into activities just like this. This is also a great time to revamp your health and your lifestyle to make sure that you're progressing towards your goals. So even though there's a recession, it doesn't mean that you can't have goals or that all things come to a halt. If you are part of the Everyday Vacation course or the Level Up program, this is a great time to revisit those things. Set a plan for yourself. There is a path that tells you how to level up your energy, how to optimize your time in life so that you can live your Everyday Vacation on your terms. It's there for you. You simply need to set a schedule and move forward step by step. All it takes is five to 15 minutes a day. 
If you aren't part of the programs, make sure you sign up for my newsletter. I have tons of discounts and bonuses and packages and things that have made these programs completely accessible to you all. And I really wanted this to be that way because I want to make sure that you have that value if you need that help and support. Regardless if you're part of the program or course, you can take the time to simply revisit your lifestyle. How are you waking up in the mornings? How are you sleeping in the evenings? What things can you do to help improve that? Remembering to prioritize some self-care time for you, really scheduling that time in day to day and focusing on small incremental wins is the best way to get the fastest results. Nothing sexy about this process. Nothing is super grand or super life changing when you're going through trying to manage your energies or recovering from fatigue. What it really takes is small continuous wins on a daily basis. Did you get to bed 15 minutes early tonight? Last night, tomorrow night, excellent. You're making progress. And it's those small incremental steps that are going to get you towards your goals, regardless of what this economy is doing. So last but not least, keep your head up, stay positive, visualize a positive future. Keep your mindset on that vision because having that vision is what's going to program your mind to take action towards it. If you want to share with me what your goals are or your vision for 2023, I would absolutely love to hear it and start a conversation with you. Make sure you email me after signing up for my newsletter and I'll be sure to read your comments, give you some thoughts and feedback. Even though there's a lot of unknowns, there's still a lot of exciting things ahead. So let's go ahead and rock 2023 together. Hey, hey, fam bam. Thanks for joining me in today's episode. If you haven't yet, get registered for my free webinar training, Better Energy for a Better Life. You guys voted on this training. I worked really hard to put together some really valuable tips and insight on the fastest way to grow your energy on time, things that you could get started doing right now. So make sure you check out that link and get signed up. Can't wait to see you there.